here at Coors Tech, our ceramics are used at both implantable and non-implantable applications. Non-implantable medical devices can be things like lighting, x-ray tubes, and even insulators in uh, respiratory devices to help combat COVID-19. Non-implantable medical devices are tools. They are tools that are being used to enhance people's lives, to make their patient care better, to make their recovery time shorter. It's common to find ceramics being used in endoscopy tools, laparoscopic tools, pressure sensors, temperature sensors, chemical sensors, ablation. We work with a couple of different companies that do robotics. Medical devices are tricky because they're often a high volume environment with tight tolerances. So you need to be able to, to bridge that gap for a customer with the consistency and the qualification and medical requirements that are there with the traceability that they're looking for with their, with their product. The materials that we provide have a couple of different major advantages. One is in their mechanical strength. Second, their electrical resistivity. Third is their compatibility, whether it be chemical or biocompatibility. And the last part of that is going to be their thermal capability. The engineered properties of the material, uh, we, we often have to start with the end in mind. How do we engineer on a microstructural level to give us the final properties of what we're looking for? The material portfolio that Coors Tech offers, it offers a lot of opportunities for existing products uh, in the field today and, and new products to be developed in the future. So Coors Tech as a company offers materials. Our IP, our intellectual property is in the material, but what we really offer is value. We offer them service, we offer them technical expertise, we offer manufacturing capabilities. And at the same time, we have that bit of dream and we have our R&D groups where we can work with them to actually make a reality out of what their dream is. Medical device manufacturers, they have an enormous amount of regulation that they have to work through and, and we're very comfortable and familiar with those requirements, what we need to do, whether it's ISO 9001, 13485, what they're looking for in a design book. Medical customers are very demanding and we're used to the demands that that market requires. We're always looking at what's next, what's coming up in the next millennia, where is the industry taking us, what's a higher strength material, what's a better electrical resistance, how can we get smaller, how can we find better ways to use them because the smaller they are, the more minimally invasive they are for the procedure and at that point we can actually work more quickly with the doctors and the patient with a faster recovery time. Coors Tech, we have a legacy of innovation, uh, a legacy of materials that we continue to grow and continue to push the envelope with new developments. If, if you look at the application of ceramics and medical, new materials and new applications of these materials will play prominently, both for implantables and non-implantable materials, uh, in order to make our lives measurably better.